Welcome back to Opio's laboratory. Now, uh, this fan belongs to a PC that suddenly started showing fan is faulty. And that PC is this Asus. Um, we have taken it apart and we are going to look at that fan in detail. So, um, this is where the fan is supposed to be going and cooling that cpu right there and then the gpu uh, but because the fan is being reported as faulty uh, we have to look at it and then uh, this is the heat sink that uh, this fan connects to this blows cold air over this that's after this has picked heat from the gpu and cpu and brought it to the cooling fins and this would blow wind over it now um when i look at the fan itself i notice that uh, the fins don't spin easily they're sort of like clamped up so today i am going to show you how to deal with such a scenario i need to loosen it up such that it is able to move about easily and this comes as a result of dust clogging the moving parts uh, or getting in between the parts that should be moving past each other so i'm going to take apart this fan for you now it is locked into I need to remove this plate and it's locked into place by that plastic that plastic melted into that so I'm going to trim off um, the excess okay the one that sort of anchors it into place and then get in between and nudge it out and this should come and clearly you can see that this dust is surely no friend to any fan and when i try to rotate it it really shows you that it cannot swing freely now some fans this actually comes out like that then this is clearly a result of friction built up over time and you can see clearly the amount of dirt that is in between there let me zoom in and just show you that level of that that is too much of the dirt and then i'm going to soak this in detergent and then clean it and then dry it at about uh, 40 degrees of my controllable temperature uh, oven so let me just get right up to it and I'll come back and show you when we are done with it so I am from washing it right now and I need it to dry uh, it's relatively seems to be not stopping immediately i need to dry it up to get rid of the water and come back and show you oh that's wait i had zoom okay and show you how fluid it is so let me get back okay so it's relatively dry let me put it in spin it and this is acceptable so I'm going to assemble it, put it back in the machine, and that's it for today. So this is one of the uh, fan failures in a, in a laptop that can be solved. Thank you. Subscribe, share, and as usual, at Opio's Laboratory, you should learn repairs, both as a hobby and as a business. See you in the next video. But before that um allow me thank each and every one of you who is already subscribed uh, the target is for us to hit a hundred subscribers anytime soon and uh will be uh, share the video like generally and we shall see you in the next video thank you but i'm tempted to use some uh, lubricant in wd just to see how much faster it would spin if possible okay this is weird it's creeping by itself oh it's just me ah it's an illusion sorry for scaring you there so i'm going to apply some of it on the spindle and then just for a sec um let me find a wiping and then come back and
try it out and see what difference is made. Okay. Now, bring it in back. Okay. Now that makes it run again much smoother. So I simply sprayed some lubricant onto that terminal that onto that pin that goes into the center and yep that's it uh hit the subscribe button share like and uh let's reach a uh, thousand